Hey everyone, welcome back to Northwest Preparedness. My name is James. So today I want to briefly talk about a movie, one of my favorite movies of the 80s, actually, Invasion USA. Obviously, stars Chuck Norris. Came out in 1985. And before I go any further, there's going to be some spoilers. So if you have not seen the movie yet, uh, I definitely recommend it. Just, if anything, for a fun watch. It's got some, of course, over-the-top action scenes, and it's just kind of a fun movie. I think it definitely kind of relates to some of the things we're seeing today. Uh, and of course with, you know, the gangs and, um, illegal immigrants coming in and random acts of violence, because basically in that movie, just kind of the premise is basically a Soviet terrorist gets a whole bunch of other terrorists together. They basically want to kind of exact, uh, revenge on, uh, America and of course Chuck Norris's, uh, character as well. Basically they get in truckloads. At the beginning, they're all labeled with different cities. You can kind of hear them start naming them off. And they basically just spread out. And they pose as National Guard. They pose as police officers and just doing random things. And we are definitely seeing, starting to see a lot of that stuff now. Just like in Aurora, Colorado. Now there's a lot of mixed uh, information on that as far as yes, it's happening. No, it's not happening. And I just watched a video of a guy who went down and was like trying to interview people that lived at that particular apartment complex in Aurora, Colorado. And there was a lot of, definitely a lot of mixed uh, answers, which I can totally understand. I can definitely understand the people not wanting to say anything, obviously, because they're concerned for their safety. Hey, I get it, especially if you have kids and things like that. Yeah, a lot of those people probably are not going to say what is really going on just for their own protection. So you can't really hold that against them. Uh, they're just trying to survive just like anybody else. So, uh, but, and then I just heard this and I, I haven't really confirmed any on, on any, you know, super reliable sources, but there was, I saw a reel on Instagram, this gentleman talking in Ohio, I believe it was in Ohio, where apparently Haitian immigrants are taking, for instance, ducks from the park and butchering and eating them and then also reports now he was talking to the city council at least i believe is what he was doing and then the other rumor was they were taking people's pets cats stuff like that and butchering them and barbecuing them because maybe they don't really realize the culture here you can't just pick up an animal off the street um and cook and eat them uh that's just not how we think we do things here so but that's kind of scary that is definitely um disturbing as well so sorry if you you know that bothers anybody but it is what it is it's just a if it's a reality it's a reality we need to be prepared for it so these are a lot of things that you know we're seeing right now and then you know we've seen um you know people further could like randomly attack police officers we've we've have we have seen a lot of random acts of violence now i'm no way saying that Americans that live here don't do that. Of course they do. But we've had such a huge influx of people that are not supposed to be here. And uh, it's just, it's getting to a, definitely getting to a boiling point, I think. And again, some of this info, you have to kind of take it with a grain of salt. Do your own research. I'm not saying 100% that that is what's true. I'm just saying that is what I have been hearing and seeing. Uh, I'll see if I can dig up some links to the articles as far as like people taking people's pets and things like that. There was a picture of a gentleman carrying, you know, I don't think it was a, it was a duck, but it was a goose. Um, some people don't know the difference. That's fine. Um, but like here, I think, I th think pretty much everywhere. I know for sure in Oregon, like Canadian geese are protected. You can't even mess with them. Um, and they're, they could be some mean fuckers too, <laughs> but um, yeah, so a lot of that stuff is, you know, wildlife, things like that are protected, so you cannot just, uh, you do that, um, you're going to be in some big trouble if you get caught, you know, you can't just, you know, kill animals willy-nilly and things like that, um, but again, maybe, you know, where they're from, that that's okay, uh, here it's not okay to take someone's cat and eat it, <laughs> it's definitely not, uh, that's kind of frowned upon, and disturbing to us because we're not used to seeing that that sort of thing and i can understand people being hungry and needing to eat but yeah so there's definitely uh a lot of things going on but again you know getting back to the movie it's 
throughout the movie is just a lot of random things. Uh, they're, they hate America. They're just trying to cause basically not necessarily take over, but just cause chaos. That's why they kind of split up and go to all these cities and just start causing random chaos. And it's hard, I think. And I, I've said it for years and years that if they, if somebody really wanted to disrupt this country is that is what they would do is they would just kind of break apart not necessarily like a, a full takeover, but you cause so many problems in so many areas uh, in you know such a short amount of time that it's going to clog up systems, it's going to cause chaos, uh, and you're going to stretch resources thin, obviously. And if there's issues where EMS has to go in and help people and there's no police to protect them, Guess what, guys? They're probably not going to go because if there's, you know, a gunfight or something going on, EMS is typically not going to go in first because they're unarmed. So there's a lot of things that we really need to think about. And, you know, these older, it's, it's, it's funny, but it's not funny. You know, all these movies we grew up with. Now, I was born in 76, so growing up through the 80s was an amazing time for movies. Uh, if you've lived during that you know that time you you know um just a lot of good fun action movies but there are some that are becoming so much more relevant now and it's it's again kind of scary and, and you know one thing you know and it's for instance terminator oh that's so sci-fi you know whatever ai man i mean i don't know what to tell you i mean where we are headed in that direction i'm not saying Terminators are going to start, you know, rolling in, rolling down the street. I'm just saying that the AI aspect of it, which is what basically caused everything, is becoming more of a reality too. So, you know, you think about these movies that you watched when you're growing up and they were so far-fetched. And then when you re-watch them when you're an adult, you see how much more likely it is to happen. It's just, it's a, almost a little more of a surreal feeling where it's like, wow, this is, this is plausible this is a possibility of this happening at some point during your life and you know invasion usa is definitely a good example i think of where we're definitely headed and you know these you know when they come in they, they have from what i've heard they have ways of getting weapons and things once they're here making connections you know if they're coming in to do a specific thing they're probably have connections already here and are being told what to do. Some of them have been found with instructions on what to do when you get into the U.S. and things like that. So make, you know, contacts. Um, but it's definitely something that you know, we, we really need to watch, especially if you are in major cities, cities that are considered sanctuary cities, blue states, but even red states, guys. I mean, really nowhere is going to be 100% safe. Uh, just because you live in a red state does not mean you're going to be, you know, exempt from all the problems going on in this country. It's just, it's just impossible. Um, every, everybody will be affected at some point, no matter what, when you get to that, you know, point of where it's just kind of boiled over and it's kind of getting there. We got the election coming up, which is going to cause a whole another set of problems. Probably. I know the debates tomorrow. Um, I'm on the fence, whether or not I want to watch it or not, if it's even, you know, does it matter? Probably not. Um, but these are things that we really it, it need to pay attention to. Things that are happening here. Yes, there's tons of things happening all over the world that we need to pay attention to also. But there is definitely a lot of serious things happening here. Um, definitely need to, you know, protect yourselves. Train. Uh, do the best you can. You know, most of us, we cannot just ride out and buy, you know, two years worth of food. Or even a year's worth. Or even six months worth of food. But it... Any step you're taking to be a little bit better prepared, hey, that's that's being a prepper. That is, you know, uh, taking responsibility for your own safety and your family's safety. And yeah, there's a lot, you know, homesteading, things like that. That's, that's great. But, you know, a lot of that stuff is like, that's a full-time gig. I mean, if you're really into it, you got to kind of have the money. You've got to be able to have the resources to do that. And most, I would have to say most preppers are not in that situation. I would like, I mean, I think probably there's probably a lot of preppers that are kind of like in that one to three month range of preparedness, which is, there's nothing wrong with that at all. 
you just have to have a plan beyond that. You know, you can have a month's worth of food for your whole family. That's great. That's probably way ahead of a lot of people in this country. And they say there's about, oh, what, 20% or something like that of the population are preppers now or something like that. But um, don't think because you only have that much that you're, you know, you're not, a pre you know, you're not prepared. You could have a week's worth. Anything more than what you would normally have on hand. Hey, you're probably ahead of the game. You know, ammo, you know, things like that. Tools you need to protect yourself. Probably a good time to do it now. I mean, we shouldn't even really be having this conversation as far as like what you need to be doing. You should have done that a long time ago, years ago. The signs were there and now it's so finally starting to get to that peak where, okay, stuff is really starting to happen. Um, our open border policy is now definitely biting us in the ass and we're having some serious issues. And that being said, I have absolutely no problem with people coming into this country at all as long as you do it the right way through the proper channels if you enter in here it's considered a felony if you're not here legally just going to say that you know youtube may not like that but that is just how the laws work i couldn't just go to canada or whatever and just start living there you know it's illegal you can't you just can't do that so we need to know who's coming in i mean i would think that every country would like to know who is coming into their country and weed out the bad there's good and bad in every group, guys. I don't care where you're from, what color you are. It's just a fact. I mean, it's just you can't have millions of people in a group without some bad apples. And it's unfortunate, but we need to protect ourselves here at home and do it the right way. When people want to come in. Hey, come in. Just got to do it the right way. Um, so if you guys haven't seen that movie, check it out. And there's, I know there's lots of other movies that are becoming a little more relevant now, I think, when they first came out, just because of things that we're facing right now. So I'm going to leave it at that. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, let me know what you guys think about that movie. I think it's just a fun movie in general. Like, if you haven't seen it, watch it. Um, you know, it's it's a lot of fun. And it's there's really not much of a plot to it. It's just Chuck Norris being Chuck Norris. And it's just a good time, guys. So... Thank you guys so much. If you could do me a favor, please hit that thumbs up. I really appreciate it. It helps me out. And also, if you could hit that subscribe button, appreciate that as well. You guys take care. Be safe. Be ready. Talk to you soon.